Let's go to Uganda, where the death toll of an attack on a secondary school has reportedly risen to at least 41. Most of the victims are students. The overnight attack took place in the town of Mpondwe on the border with Democratic Republic of Congo, some 400 kilometers from the capital, Kampala. Authorities say they are pursuing militants from a Ugandan militant group linked to the Islamic State. And we can cross now to DW's correspondent, Julius Mungambwa, joining us from the Ugandan capital, Kampala. Julius, uh, can you tell us more details about this attack? To start with, I think the number could even be bigger. From the information we are getting from Western Uganda, it indicates initially the police say 25, the military now say 37, and people on ground say the number could be way much, much more. Because considering the way they conducted this act and touched the dormitory, it's possible that some of the bodies are yet to be found. The police and military have deployed, but it's also important to know that Uganda has previously deployed to the Eastern DRC trying to look for these very rebels. The military says that the, act, the attack last night involved at least five assailants, of which they are now looking for. They are trying their best to see that at least they rescue the abductees. Yeah, tell us more about the assailants. What do we know about the group that has allegedly carried out this attack? Uh, this group is called the Allied Democratic Forces. It has its leader called Jamil Mukulu, who was arrested in Tanzania and handed over to Uganda a couple of years ago. And this group has been operating in the thick forests of the Eastern Democratic Republic of, U of Congo, where Uganda has gone to hunt them down. Previously, they have been linked to the Islamic State. And they've conducted a similar incident like this 25 years ago. They attacked another school and touched over 80 students in a dormitory and abducted over 100. Actually, in that incident, more than 20 of these were buried in a mass grave because their bodies were beyond recognition. Mm. And regarding the people who we understand to have been abducted, are authorities doing anything to try and rescue them? Yes, the authorities have already deployed. Uganda already has its troops in the Democratic Republic of Congo, and we understand they are now putting together intelligence with their counterparts in Congo to see that they can get to these people. Already some people on the ground, the civilians, are offering information to the security forces, and all we learn from police and the military, they are saying that whatever it takes, they'll make sure that they get the people who've been abducted. And important to note that mostly most of these are well, thank you very much for that update. That was our correspondent, Julius Mungabwa in Kampala.